Hey guys, I uh, want to do a quick update. I know I haven't put out a video in a, two, a couple of weeks, I think, now. I've uh, just been under the weather, uh, work constraints and other things. Uh, it just made um, making videos and let alone painting uh, a little bit of a chore for me. So, um, finally feeling back in the saddle, uh, went ahead and uh, this is uh, Damon's Marcus Army, if you remember from the last time. And uh, let's just take a look. Um, I painted him up very, very simplistic. Uh, I thought of him more of like a like a shaman, so uh, I kept him very brown, very, very woods-like, etc., uh, etc. Et uh, all in all, turned out really, really well. Uh, I've, I, I'm, there's a thematic for most of this is uh, going to be was going to be very shamanistic. I thought of this less and less like a like maybe an American Indian or you know Aztecian or anything I thought of this more and more of like a you know like just a like a American Indian maybe you see in Alaska or something like that you know I just thought of running through the forest or whatever and all that nature up in Alaska and stuff like that really inspired me on this so it kept everything really woodsy grainy and that's the reason why if you notice on the bases there's a lot of moss on that mixed in with a lot of grass because um of just the terrain up there, I thought that was a really cool little thing. And then on uh, the f the female druid here, <laughs> as you can see the paint on my finger, I sort of wanted to do like a springtime sort of melted snow into like grass. So I went ahead and did the static grass and moss combo, and then I went ahead and put some snow uh, on there as well. And when it mixed in with, um, I use a lot of uh, super glue, and when it mixed in with the the snow, it made it look like a slush rather than you know a fresh fallen snow which is the effect I was hoping to go for so it, it turned out really really well and then on the worm I just really kept it part of part of just you know monocolor uh, you know there is I was thinking well you know nature was going to keep it pretty much monotone kind of like how most serpents and snakes and stuff are or you know they're pretty drab they're not uh, unless you go like into the uh, Amazon or whatever they're not going to really stand out so I wanted the model to stand out the features of the model because it is really a nice little detailed model I wanted the model to stand out uh, the design of it so I kept it the way it was and it also the colors of it all pulled together with uh, the rest of the crew so it's also got that earthy natural feel to it and I really really liked how that turned out and I'm working on the tiger that finishes that up uh, I've just got it started, so it looks really, really terrible. I've just pretty much got the orange down on it. I'm going to uh, go ahead and start inking that, doing the stripes on that one. I've got to look, do some more research on tiger stripes to make sure it's going to look more realistic than uh, crazy uh, fantasy tiger. Um, and then also, I was pretty lucky this week, and uh, I was talking with some people in Ventrilo, which... I've got a link in my favorites. If you're not on Ventrilo, you really should be getting on Ventrilo. There's a lot of good, uh, a lot of good resources there. There's a lot of good information uh, you can get about the hobby if you're into this miniature war game and hobby. And anyway, there's a place called TCP Global. They're out of somewhere on the left coast, <laughs> and uh, I picked up a a combo and a generator and an airbrush. So. Um, I was really fortunate to get that. Uh, just the moons aligned all um, for me, and there was a sale on it. It was the one I was wanting. Uh, I happened to have a little extra cash at the time, so I thought, oh, might as well go for it. And then at the same time, uh, to finish draining out uh, my checkbook, um, there was a lot of sale. I found these. Uh, somebody in, I think it was Iowa, that was selling a lot of the old uh, Hell Dorado minis. Uh, these are the French ones so like I have no freaking idea what any of this says um, but um, fortunately there's some kind-hearted people on the web that has put some translations up so hopefully I'll uh, run these through the old printer Rooney and uh, print up some cards maybe put them on the back of some old crappy magic cards I'll never use again or something like that like I'll throw us on the black lotus <laughs> no I'm kidding um, but yeah, I got a really good deal on those, so that should help flush out some of my Heldorado uh, fix for a while. And uh, I think I ended up getting like 14 models for like, I think it was like 50, 60 bucks for all out of print models. That's not a really a bad deal at all. Um, I kind of like that. All metal, uh, which I kind of like. 
because um, I like to, ha to have hefty models because uh, I'm a hefty dude. No, uh, but thank you for everybody that's uh, been supporting me, even though I haven't been uh, making videos. I really do appreciate all the, the positive uh, feedbacks and stuff like that. Um, and uh, I promise that I'll try and be more prolific and uh, get you guys some uh, more up-to-date stuff as uh, I'm getting everything done. And hopefully, uh, I'm working on getting like a new opener. I know the opener that I have now is pretty cheesy, but uh, I'm working on that. Uh, get you a new opener, something more classy. <laughs> uh, keep it classy, kids. Um, that will be pretty cool. And until next time, uh, hope everybody had a great weekend and talk to you soon. Keep gaming, guys. Bye.